Mills Lawn's been something that's been a part of me forever. And um, like going back there and seeing my teachers is just something, it's like another home. And um, it's just somewhere I can go and just all the memories of sliding down the hallways when everyone else was at home. And I had to stay there two hours later <laughs> waiting for my mom to get done. Um, so I mean, it's just, uh, I don't know, be able to be in a school that is like a home. It's just wonderful to walk down the hallways and everyone's like, hey, Andy, is your mom's still working? Yes, I know. She's still <laughs> working. It's the worst. But um, I mean, it's, and to have teachers um, that uh, follow you up to um, high school who've been there for you since, for five years. And all of us are hired. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's like to have a small school, it has its ups and downs, it's a blessing and a curse. But, um, it's some you always have that one or two teachers that you can fall back on and that will give you feedback on your photography or videos or someone to make you feel like you can be successful in life and not bring you down which is an amazing feeling so i mean it i love yellow spring schools for that so in terms of an elementary education i think that uh, some of the most important objectives are to really build foundational knowledge for kids and, and um, skills so that they can continue to access more and more learning. Um, maybe you could talk about it as teaching, teaching them how to learn or building that ability to learn. Um, as they start in school, it's very important for us to uh, work with their interests and motivations so that they feel like this is a good place for them. Um, to really develop great relationships here so they keep having that uh, uh, desire to come to Mills Lawn and, and to be a part of this community. Um, and then building those, those foundational blocks, those basic skills um, around reading and math so that as they move through the elementary school they can keep accessing more and more. Um, I think it's also critical for the students to really have this desire to learn um, this desire to find out things about the world they live in and for us to really work with that natural interest that they have as well as that uh, need to communicate with each other. So working on those relationships and also that natural desire to learn and then just keep you know building those uh, bridges so that they can they can pursue their interests and access those higher levels of learning. Our environment is critical and, and the way that we build a, a strong community environment is through uh, relationships. So that's always one of the, the largest focuses for me is that, that relationship building and rapport with students. My name is Peg Morgan and I'm a fourth grade teacher here at Mills Lawn Elementary. And what I appreciate and uh, enjoy about teaching here in Yellow Springs is the homeschool connection and the interest in using many different learning methods, learning styles. So um, there's an encouragement here to be creative um, as well as being effective with learning and teaching. So it's kind of melded all together. The role of arts and music in education is critical to learning in general. Learning really doesn't occur in, in different compartments. It's, it's all uh, connected. So when we use music and art um, you know, as a natural part of what we're doing with kids in, in other subject areas, it just strengthens their ability to learn about math or reading. Um, it increases their interest. It sees how, it helps them to see how all these different pieces are connected. So uh, we need to have a very strong arts and music program, but it also needs to be integrated so that it's not something you go and do two or three times a week separately. It's something that's a part of everything they're doing, whether it's with the art teacher, or with the regular classroom teacher, or collaborative. Mills Lawn, we try to do a really good job with that so that if they are learning about something, um, they can have some kind of artistic component to that or, or musical or uh, physical movement. Um, all those things work together and, and they really should be connected, they shouldn't be compartmentalized. I'm Amy Meinhardt, I'm the art teacher here at Mills Lawn and we are right now, we're in the middle of a, an, 
an artist residency with um, Johanna Smith. She's a mosaic artist and she had a wonderful idea almost at the same time that I had a wonderful idea. My idea actually came from PTO, looking at our sign out front thinking that we needed to do something with it. It was deteriorating and we needed to do something more artistic with it. So um, Johanna is the expert with Mosaic and she happens to also be local so I was really happy about that. What we're doing is making a mosaic of the Mosan School sign. We're using rhinestone for, like white rhinestone for the letters and then a whole bunch of blue pieces of tile, jar, like stuff for all the jars. Um, and we're putting them on the front to make it school colors and making it the name. Uh, a lot of people made designs in the classroom and are putting them on right now. So. And it's just been a wonderful, wonderful experience and it's coming along nicely, I think, as you could see. We have a very strong uh, academic focus in Yellow Springs in general because people here are interested in learning, whether they're young, uh, middle-aged, uh, old, you know, it's, it's all, everyone here is focused on uh, learning and, and being knowledgeable and appreciating that. So, you know, we have, a, we have an environment where people really respect uh, learning. I love working here because it's a great staff, but, but more importantly, it's the community. It's the families. It's everyone um, being very supportive of learning and teachers and whatever we need. Yes, they'll, we're, they'll do. And that it just makes it all worth the while. I guess that's probably for me the, the best reason. And being able to, to uh, teach creatively. I think that our kids, they have opinions, they want to be heard, they want to, um, you know, share their knowledge and uh, they want to be able to pursue interests that they have. And we also have parents and, um, you know, people in the community that want to share their knowledge. Miss Winks, she was my second grade teacher and she came to my undergraduate graduation party. Like, it, you know, it's just full circle. Like, that's somebody who really loves me and remembers me. It's just, I don't know, I loved going to school <laughs> here. It was what I enjoy the most is being able to pursue a passion, a passion of learning, teaching, and uh, having a a, a feeling of, of creative freedom, if you will, that I can encourage my children, my students, to reach a little bit higher, to take a chance. And while, they're, while I'm encouraging them, it's also helping me to be a more creative person and, and to do things that I never thought before that I could do, that really that I had in me. So I've, I, I, it's, it's just been a tremendous opportunity for me and, uh, and I, I think I've, I've brought something positive to the, the community and to the school as well. This is a, a place that people love and, and uh, respect and, and they want, um, I think, knowing that when you walk into this building that this is a place that, where people take learning very seriously. That doesn't mean we act seriously all the time, it just means that we really honor learning and the learning process and we don't want that to be um, second to anything. I am Heidi Hoover and I teach first and second grade at Mills Lawn. And I love teaching in Yellow Springs because the creativity and the energy of the children are wonderful. Hello everybody, hello. Jumbo, sana, jumbo. I grew up in Yellow Springs and I, I always say that I'm a product of this town and this education system, so I love being part of it. It's like part of the cycle, part of the generation that I get to be part of what created me.
one of the things that's unique about this building is that it's both a middle school and a high school combined. And they really have two different personalities. Um, the middle school is not a junior high where you end up taking just the same classes. They really work on developmentally what's the most appropriate for kids running through grades seven and eight. This is McKinney Middle School. This is Power of the Pen. And this is the teams that's going to state getting ready for their writing. They have to write to a prompt and they have um, 35 minutes in which to turn out a narrative or an essay. Most of the time it's a narrative. And so we meet twice a week to practice, to do that, to accomplish that. And, um, and so now we're going to state and we're taking seven people. For, this is the largest group to compete at state since I've been doing Power of the Pen. We don't generate any uh, revenue, so uh, we, we have to do our own fundraising and activities and things. And when you look at the high school itself, uh, moving from one part of the building to sort of the other part of the building, it's a great way for them to kind of continue their development. Um, as we begin to think about what it means to be a high school graduate from Yellow Springs, uh, there's a long tradition. So we had someone who's done research with Nobel Prize winners speak at our school this year. We um, are trying to arrange for um, the state's attorney general to come in and speak to us. And, um, you know, we'll have the ACLU come in and speak. And so as we begin thinking about what, how we're kind of characterizing our young people, we're thinking about this idea of what's it mean to be a fearless thinker. And, and we've got the fearless part down really quite well. And we've got the thinking part down, I think, quite well, too. But it's marrying those things in really appropriate ways to make sense of that. Because it means understanding data. It means understanding others' points of view. And not just being tolerant of it, but actually actively working to understand other people's points of view. When you're at a high school and you have 200 kids in your high school, uh, it really is a powerful thing because every teacher knows every student and every student knows every teacher. And you're able to really build strong uh, relationships with with kids and and you don't you do not get that everywhere very very few places have the opportunity for those kinds of relationships to be built and uh, with the great you know faculty members we have uh, in our schools uh, we're able to do that and and uh, and there's some really meaningful meaningful relationships that have happened as a, as a result you get to know these teachers and I know like you're saying you have one or two teachers I feel like like all like 10 12 of these teachers are you know, like my best, not my best friend, you know. No, 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 but I mean like in the school, like I feel like I could, I could talk to them. I have many teachers I could come up to if I had a problem. And I think, you know, at some schools you get lucky to find that yeah. one. But we, we are like, oh, you know, oh, Miss Holly, love her. Oh, Mr. Hatter, love, you know, like, or something like that. The math so, department, just. Math the math department, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, but, um, so. I think that's just one of the great things about our school. But I would ask you, you please join me in officially recognizing Yellow Spring High School's very own 2008 American Star of Teaching, representing the entire state of Ohio, Elizabeth Lutzak.
So it's great to be part of a school system that supports a small community like this and uh, supports the values of this, this, this small community and uh, one where really everybody is involved. We have a, a comprehensive sports program so that our kids really can get involved in, in a lot of different sports for a small school like this. You know, another unique thing about our schools that I didn't mention before is uh, we, I've been in a lot of school systems, I've been three or four different school systems and I've never seen a school system where so many folks who are, have had kids that have gone through school, who have grandchildren that have even gone through school, are still strongly involved in our school system. And I, I, there is no more sense of pride and respect I have for our community than when you see folks in their 70s coming in here to help volunteer uh, in droves, and they do come in droves, um, in helping our kids learn to read, or helping our kids learn their math facts, or helping our kids any way they can. We almost never refuse to uh, renew a levy or uh, approve of a new levy. We support our schools. I wonder if anybody has compared the record of uh, yes uh, endorsements uh, versus rejections in Yellow Springs to all of the rest of the communities in Ohio. We must be outstanding. We, we believe we want a school where kids are, are doing more rather than uh, standing in a traditional classroom uh, receiving information. We want a school where the kids are uh, working side by side with other kids, so we're collaborating, working together in groups. We want a school where, where kids are out learning by doing. They're actually engaging in projects in the community and beyond the community and learning uh, by being active uh, out there solving complex real world problems. If you think about the placement of uh what the arts mean, whether it's visual or performing, um, in a high school education or a middle school education for adolescents and uh, young adults. It's important that it be present, um, ideally, uh, that it be challenging, and that it be broad in scope, and really ideally, that it be integrated. And if we can do that, then students really see not only that it's an add-on, per se, but that it's a part of what we want out of all of our kids and that is to be kind of well-developed humans. Who knows what perfection is as a human, but I'm pretty doggone sure that the arts and music is a part of it. I feel like also just like proj art projects aren't really concentrated just in the art room. Like, I feel like in every single one of my classes that I've been in, I have like an art project due in at least one of them. Like we had a comic book due in like world history last year and we had, you know, certain like artsy things. So it's like we get to do art all the time in projects in our regular classes and when I talk to people from other schools, they don't have that. They have to do like, you know, written things and a lot of essays and stuff like that, but we get to do like, you know, fun art projects instead. I think mm -hmm. that's great. We just performed in Columbus yesterday. The kids played at the Governor's Art Show at the Rhodes State Office Building. <laughs> opportunities to try on new hats academically, to challenge themselves, and to begin developing some interests. We don't expect to have students in a great high school education f fully know what they want to do by the time they leave, but we certainly should be able to give them an opportunity to try to figure out what it means to be what their best is. And, uh, and so in that sense, uh, high school education that's really extraordinary is engaging more than anything else. I've always kind of said, it's okay if school is fun. It doesn't have to be. 
it's certainly okay, and it's, and it's terrific when it is, but it sure as heck better be interesting. I feel like I'm, I'm doing the work I've been meant to do my whole life, every day, um, and, uh, and, and helping our kids uh, learn in Yale Springs. And so it, it's been a great opportunity for me, and uh, I hope that it lasts uh, for the rest of my career. It really has an opportunity to kind of be almost world class in some sense, and I think it's an exciting time to be here. How we move forward is, is, uh, is both challenging and exciting all at the same time. And, and students certainly have great opinions when it comes to it. And the community is uh, strongly oriented in expressing their opinions around it too. And that's, that's a terrific thing. Wow.